always do that. I always want to do that. I feel, I feel empowered now. I can see why it works. Um, good afternoon uh, and welcome to the first ever MENA Games Industry Awards. Well, that's good. It's been, a, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. I need the enthusiasm. I'm grab some seats. You've got plenty of seats here. I, I know there's orders who can sit at the front of everything, but just there's plenty of seats. Just sit yourself down. So this is a brand new award ceremony uh, designed to celebrate, obviously, the very best work being done in the industry in the, in the Middle East region in the last year or so. To our knowledge, and there may be people here that, that know better than me, this is the first time anything like this has been done. It's certainly the first time we have tried to do it. Um, it's certainly the first time we tried to do it in the middle of another show. Uh, in the afternoon uh, and during a weather advisory. So bear with us. Uh, it's, uh, it's a, uh, we've had a little bit of uh, a friction, but we are going to carry on against the odds and, and get this done. I'm committed. So if you don't know me already, my name is Chris James. I'm the CEO uh, of Steel Media, the company responsible for this, uh, this show, along with uh, plenty of help from the DC and others. Uh, we also run the PG Connect series uh, internationally. Uh, we run the PocketGamer.biz, uh, the Big Indie Pitch, Top 50 Game Makers, a ton of stuff for the games industry. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, before I get into the awards, though, and I know that's what you want to get to, but there's not a lot of preamble, don't worry. Before I get into it, I want to explain a little bit about why we're doing this and why I think this is important. Uh, and, and, and to do that, I need to kind of uh, take, take you back a little. There we go, taking you back a little bit, as you can see there. Um, this is, this is the Steel Media team. I know I haven't changed a bit. That's, that's me in the center there. Slightly, slightly short hair and slightly less gray. Um, we started this company um, 19 years ago, and, and our aim then was to make a mark on the games industry um, to try and help and, and, and celebrate and support those within it. Um, we'd been working before at various publishing companies and games companies, other things. We'd worked in the PC and console game space. Uh, a lot of our team worked for a magazine called Edge, which was well, the, the games industry bible uh, before they came here. But we chose deliberately um, to focus initially on the mobile games industry because we saw that as a place where we thought we could have the most impact and generally make a difference. We saw an industry that was full of talented people trying to create something new but really weren't getting much love. They weren't getting a lot of support. They were struggling. Uh, the world was against them. So here's a, here's a look at what the mobile games industry was back those days. Uh, um, you know, the, back when we started, most phones still had buttons. Uh, that's an alien concept to, to young people I know. Um, there was, uh, we, this, they had very small screens. Downloading content was, was, was an absolute pain. And the revenue share model with, with, uh, with uh, businesses was, was piffling. You, people complain about giving 30% to Apple today. You were lucky to get 30% as a developer back then. Um, but the big problem really was discovery, was awareness. We, we work with the mobile operators in the UK and elsewhere. And we even, to, sh to share reviews and news about new games, to encourage download, we even created magazines in store to encourage people to download mobile games. That seems insane now, but at the time that was something that was needed. Obviously, we fast forward in mobile, and right now it's a very different world. It's a, you know, the, there's about three, there's billions of high-end uh, touchscreen devices that pack more power than the average console did back then. Um, the games, there's high-quality games, thousands and thousands of high-quality games, both familiar franchises in the games industry uh, and brand-new mobile-first IP. And like I say, those devices are in billions of, uh, of pockets, and, and games now can count their top games, count their, their revenues in billions. And mobile is the biggest part of the games industry by, by far. It's at least half. And depending on which metrics and data you, you swear by, uh, it's worth around $100 billion at the moment. There's loads of data there from, from a recent data AI study to show how huge the engagement is. And, and in that time, these are just some of the people who have been honored as our top 50 game makers over the years. And many of those now, wouldn't, you wouldn't have heard of a lot of them when mobile started, but a lot of them now are kind of household names. Um, through the growth of this industry. Now, obviously, there were many factors in the success of this. There's a chap called Steve Jobs who did quite a lot with his app store. I don't even like games, but he did quite a lot for the games in mobile games industry. Um, the free play model was very important. And of course, incredible talent um, played a huge part too. But we feel we played a small part over the years. Uh, we feel that media, uh, events, awards, that ecosystem uh, of community around games and initiatives like that are really important in encouraging the industry forward and, 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 and helping it develop. I'm not going to take responsibility for a 100 billion industry, but we have played a part. And that, which brings me to why I'm here. 
This is, if we flash back to the, to the, the, the MEA industry, not even MEA industry, uh, about uh, 10 years ago, this was a much smaller business as it is now. It's, it, it, these numbers are about 1.4 billion, and this was from a, a, a larger region than what's now considered MENA. Um, and, and obviously, we've grown a lot. Uh, this industry's grown a lot, in, and we've seen this graph in lots of presentations. We're now talking about a $7.2 billion industry in MENA, five-fold growth. Um, and itself, most, in, most impressively, it's the fastest growing part of the market. That's huge. You really can't over, overemphasize that. However, if you wanted to dig a bit deeper into who's making that money and who's doing, you know, what games are working, it's been quite hard. Um, up until, you know, sort of relatively recently, it's, it's been a pretty much a press blackout. There's not been any real international coverage you'd get hold of. I know, because we've been looking for it, and looking for, for, for various reasons over the, the previous years to, to find things. Um, it's, it's changed a bit now since these big numbers and this fantastic growth. The, 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 we get a lot more coverage of the industry as a whole, and these big numbers guarantee international press coverage. But still, when it comes to companies, you don't hear a lot about the companies or the games. Um, there are a few exceptions, again, some of them here in the, in the audience. Um, often, though, when you get international coverage, and a lot of it's on our channels, but it's because you're partnering with companies outside, a big international companies or you're investing uh, you know, significantly. So, so that's kind of brings us to what we've been doing and why we're here. We, we have started our program of trying to do what we try to do the mobile industry for the industry here. We've been running events. We were in Jordan initially and in a leader summit in, 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 in Riyadh. And of course, are here for the second year at the, the Dubai Game Expo, which we're very proud of. And we, we love being here. Thank you so much for being so supportive for us. Um, we're also trying to up our media. So if you've got stories, if you want to talk about them, talk to our media. Craig Chappell's knocking around. He desperately wants information. We want to cover more what's going on here. But awards have always been a part of what we do, and that's the next natural step. So that's kind, of, that's kind of why we're here. So hopefully that explains why we're doing this. Um, how we got here, I'll be very brief, is we sent out a call for submissions. We got a lot of submissions, hundreds and hundreds of, of, of people submitted. And from that, we filtered it down to about 100 um, companies across the 14 categories we've got with the help of some industry experts. And then from that point, we opened up the process to, to blind judging. We had 80 plus judges from the region who have experience in the region or knowledge of it, who then voted on uh, each of the categories uh, to determine the, the ultimate runners up and winners that I'll be sharing in a second. So I want to ask before I kick off, are there any judges in the audience? Is there anybody here? Stand up if you've been a judge in the audience. Come on, show us some. Have you been a judge? Stand up, come on, this is great. So, so what I want to say, thank you so much, guys. So basically, I want you to remember these people. You can sit down, that's great. And, and just remember, if you don't like the results, these are the people that you need to talk to afterwards. Um, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, whilst curating awards is nowhere near as hard as making games or game services, it is a challenge, especially when it's difficult to get information from a region. So we wouldn't call this an alpha or, or a beta even, but we don't expect to be perfect first time. So, so now, no doubt you'll argue with many of the choices here. And we are open to constructive feedback. So if you've got anything, if you've got any suggested patches or thoughts or just general outrage, uh, do send it to our editorial team, Craig, I mentioned earlier, all those judges, or indeed myself. Um, you can, uh, and we'll, we will take it all on board. And we want to grow this and make it a really significant event. Um, finally, before I get started, this is an interactive affair. So when you do see names coming up, uh, or noms or winners, do feel free to cheer their friends or on your team. Or boo. Booing's acceptable. I don't know what they, uh, as well. That's fine. Uh, don't boo the sponsors, though. That's going to be very bad for all of us. So uh, thank, a big shout out to some of our sponsors to Exola Funding uh, and Idea Xbox and our own Pocket Gamer Biz and Blockchain Gamer Biz. Can a round of applause for our sponsors, please? Right. Thank you very much. You've been a very, you've been a very, uh, very, very friendly audience so far. I hope it continues. So, um, right, should we get started? Let's, let's crack on into, I'm going to find, there's, a, there's an opening VT to set the scene for what we're going to be uh, celebrating. Now I'm not afraid to lose everything Staring at the sky from an empty plane Until the night becomes the day I'm on my own in this story that you've written me I can't go home But I can do this alone, no Run to your phone And get back up Cause it's a long time, long time Read for me long You're only running out of time Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Everybody stay slow And get back up 
I didn't do any of that. You guys did this. Some amazing games in there, and, and some of them will win, I imagine. So, uh, otherwise, it'd be very, very weird awards. Um, so, let's, let's crack straight on with the first award, which is for the uh, best games startup. Um, and this is a, this is one to celebrate the future, of course. This is focusing on, the, uh, the, on a, uh, any media games company that's been established in the last year or two, and has always significantly evolved their business in that time to make an impact on the industry through innovation, creativity, or other initiatives, but maybe it's not necessarily brought their smash hit to market just yet. So, I do have some nominees uh, to show, which is the next video. So here are the nominees. Emerald Studio, you know them? Fahey Studios, they're here. Fox Retail Studios, Fox Writer. Game Hermits. Hajem Sports. Cash Cool Games. There's quite a lot in the games ones, but don't worry, it's nice to them. Nifty Craft. Nomadroid. Starvania. Tafra Games. Takas Gaming Studio. And Yalla Games. Cool, that's very, very polite a, a clapping there. So, uh, you might not want to keep doing that all the way through. We've got 14 awards to get through, but very good. I appreciate it. Um, so, yes. So, this is this is what we're this is what we're playing for. So, in each category, we're going to have uh, we've basically in the process of judging, we've come up with two kind of runners up, two honourable mentions who will just who will get sent a nice thing they can share on the, the social media, and one winner. Only the winner come up, please. Otherwise, going to take hours. So, just a quick shout out first. We get a round of applause for the honourable mentions in this best game startup which are Nomadroid and Yalla Games. So congratulations. Well done to you guys. Close, but no scar this time. But the winner, according to the judges and the voting, um, is, oh, oh, I'm, it's suspense. I'm not trying to do Simon Cowell. It's Starvania Studio. Oh, wow. That's a popular choice. Do we have a Starvania? They're running, they're running. Run, run like the wind. Okay. Do you like to say anything? Keep it, keep it short ish. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't prepared, but uh, yeah, thank you all. And thank you for believing in us. Our game is there if you want to try it. And um, I mean, everyone deserves to be a winner. I, I saw Nomad Ride and Yellow Games. I know them all. Um, but yeah, keep working, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's good. There we go. That's what we like gratitude and short and succinctness. That's fantastic. So, right, we are going to keep things moving along. A lot of photography going on, there we go. That's it now, your life's changed. You might as well go, you know, go, go, and, buy, go and buy an expensive car. Um, right, um, right, so our, our next award is a little bit different. Uh, we are uh, focusing on the essential kind of ecosystem support, uh, and particularly the kind of game hub, innovation hubs, districts and related projects. So this, this award celebrates uh, regional innovation hubs that are so important in this region to, to kickstart things that support developers uh, with uh, cultivate creativity, enable local produced content, accelerate the gaming space. And due to the rapidly na uh, changing nature of the space, no doubt the names of half of these things will have changed by the time I announce them. But still, I'm going to do the nominees uh, as they stand here. So the nominees are AD Gaming, muted, okay, I know it's, 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 it's complicated. Uh, DMCC, the In5 Tech, or In5 Tech, I thought that was DFC, but there you go. Neom, Sharjah Media City, and Tamkeen. So there we go. Those are, oh, uh, good, thank you very much. So, the, again, as, as before, we have, we have uh, two honorable mentions and the winner, and the honorable mentions go to AD Gaming and Neom. So congratulations to them. Uh, however, there can only be one winner, that's the way it works, uh, and the winner is, it's the DMCC. Do 
like to say something? He's good. He's good. He's not allowed to say anything. That's good. Well, thank you very much. It's okay. I know how it works with governments. You can't say anything. So, um, this is, just to be really clear, they didn't win this award just because they sponsored us. However, you can increase your chances if you do sponsor us so in the future. We're all in business here. Anyway, uh, on we go. On we go. So the next award is uh, Best Tool and Service Provider. Uh, so while the game makers may get all the credit, uh, the industry wouldn't be possible without essential back-end tools that empower game creation, operation, or monetization. Um, so this accolade is for companies that are based in or have a meaningful presence in the region who support the ecosystem here through dedicated development tools, game engines, AI middleware, et cetera, et cetera, uh, or monetization uh, companies. So here we go. We've this is a melange of companies, so a few quite different ones. So I'll, I'll run through the nominees. The nominees are Arabic Writer from Evil Light Studio. <laughs> Audio Mob, was set up uh, just here, I think. Or in Abu Dhabi, can't remember. Oops. Uh, Craftware from uh, Nifty Craft, part of the Nifty Studio. Elevatix. Um, Game Up, a Serena Game Studio. Pay First from Carry First. Remit, uh, again, another Serenity Game Studio, Tamatem Plus, there's applause there, and Exola. Okay. And the uh, honorable mentions are Audio Mob and Tamatem Plus. So, <laughs> congratulations there. Uh, which means, I don't know if I'm supposed to be holding the microphone, that means the winner is, pause for. The winner of this one is actually Exola, who have committed to the region. And they are here, and they have an award. Do we have Exola? We have someone from Exola. We have very senior people from Exola. Many people from Exola are all coming up. That's good. Again. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for us hosting here. It's an amazing event the guys have set up here. We're very committed to this territory. We really want to make more innovation and make more partners here. And really, are very, very grateful for this award. Thank you so much to everybody. Continued success. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Right. We're moving. We're going through it quite a lick now, so that's good. Um, so we're back to games now, and we are into most innovative games. Someone's clicking ahead for me there, cheeky. That's okay. It freaks me out a little bit. Um, all right, so uh, the games industry is obviously at the vanguard of innovation uh, and technology, and both in technology and play. So it only feels right we celebrate uh, innovation uh, in, in games. So this, this is for any media-based game released in the last uh, 12 months or so that pushes the boundaries of game dynamics, where it's play mechanics, technical achievements, gameplay, or more. So let's have a look at the nominees. This is a video for, don't have to keep clicking. So AVO, uh, AVO Escape Space. Fatil from Evo Light. Hey Jim Sports from Hey Jim. Martha Adieu. Or Edu. Pretty Pie. The True Persian Love Story from Emerald Swiss. Beautiful looking game that. Okay, right, so there's a. Uh, uh, the honorable mentions rather are for Fatil of Evo Light and the True Persian Love Story. Congratulations to them. And um, the winner in this category is, as voted for by the judges, is AVO Escape Space. Now, I, I know, I'm pretty sure they couldn't make it here, so I'm, I guess Craig from Pop Game Biz come up. Unfortunately, they, we, did, we did speak to them, but they, they weren't able to make this show. So Craig, you can be, not get to say any words, but come across. Craig says he couldn't have done it. He didn't do it. So um, we'll get that award to them. There's, there's, only a, there's only, I think there's only two people who, who we know couldn't make it, and, and that's one of them, unfortunately. But there we go. Uh, so it's, it's a VR game. It's set in space with AI. So check it out. It's apparently really, really good. Um, OK. Uh, and we move on. We move on again. Doing it myself now. There we go. Look at that little uh, transition. Very slick. OK. 
And the next uh, award is, uh, is for best Arabic. You can see that. Um, so localization is obviously key, key to success in any region. Um, we all like content that's in our language or culture relevant. So this category reflects the work done by publishers, um, developers, or others uh, to make a game fit well within the region. I have to say, my, my, my Arabic is a little bit rusty, so I wasn't involved in the judging of this one. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave this in the hands of our judges. So here are the nominees for best uh, Arabic localization of a game. I think this is a video. It is. Assassin's Creed Mirage from Ubisoft. EA Sports FC Electronic Arts. Good Pizza, Great Pizza, Tap Blaze. Hawks, The Four Winds uh, from The Four Winds Entertainment. Hogwarts Legacy from Avalanche. Infinity Kingdom from The Sour Group. Mafiosa Godfather of, of, of uh, Mafia City. Resident Evil 4. And those games. So obviously those games largely made out of the region, but the localization teams have been involved in those. So let's crack on and we will see the, uh, the, the honorable mentions. And so two honorable mentions is good pizza, great pizza. Go a round of applause for both of those, please. Tap Blaze and the Four Winds Entertainment. Which means there can only be one winner, as usual. And that winner is Assassin's Creed Mirage from Ubisoft. So we have, we have Ubisofters here. We must have one Ubisoft that can come up. There's loads of them. No? No, we're here. We've hundreds of them. <laughs> OK. All right. Charlie, do you want to come up? Switch it up. So yeah, we have, we have, uh, we have a, a Ubisoft here. They've got offices here as well. So maybe they're hitting off in a meeting somewhere. Anyway. So yeah, they are here. Oh, they were speaking earlier, but there you go. Can lead a horse to water and everything. Right, let's keep on moving. We are into, we are well more than halfway through now, so this is going very well. Um, we were on to now, we are moving on now to the best uh, eSports uh, service. So when we created uh, an eSports category, when we got the nominations, um, the su submissions coming in, it became increasingly clear there was two very different types of companies. There was uh, eSports services and the teams themselves. So we went ahead and just separated those categories into two. So this first one is for best esports service. Uh, esports is obviously a huge industry in the region. So this category recognizes and celebrates um, companies that have Im impressively implemented and strategically sustained, you can tell I didn't write that, it's two hard words, uh, MENA esport related support services in the last year. So let's have a look at the uh, nominees. It's Gamers Hub, <laughs> Cafu Games, Power League Gaming, the Esports and Gaming Agency, good name. True Gamers. Zane Esports. I'm assuming it's in order, that's the last one. No, Zoe, uh, Zoe yeah, Gaming, I've got myself. Too many Zs. Okay, right, okay, so uh, a number of uh, well known companies there from the region. And the honorable mentions go to Power League Gaming and the Esports and Gaming Agency. Congratulations to you guys. Again, you'll be able to say we almost won, but didn't quite. Uh, and the winner uh, of the best in esports uh, service is True Gamers. Again, they should be here. They're here. Hey, look at that. Would you like to say a few words? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dubai. Thank you for jury who sent it for us uh, voices. Thank you for our customers. For uh, Thank you for the sports players who are coming to True Gamers and uh, play. Yeah. Uh, I have one uh, a new news. Oh, uh, no, no. I say it before official press, uh, press release. Yeah, something like that. Uh, you know it, uh, True Gamers connected uh, gamers at this moment inside UE. We already started our cross Emirati tournaments. But uh, in this weekend, I have a 
one visit uh, to Jordan and uh, we find the best solution, sign some contracts. And in May, we officially started cross countries, leagues and championships, UE versus Jordan. Excellent. Thank you. Fantastic. Look at that, thank you very much. A winner and a product announcement at the same time. That's that's killing it. What fantastic! Okay, well, great. So UE versus Jordan. That's uh, game on. Right. Um, okay. The um, look at that. He's very happy. I like that. Happy winners. So where you have esports services, you obviously need esports teams, um, and this category celebrates um, the most consistently successful and innovative. I know uh, MENA-based esports teams throughout the last year or so. As a side note. I know I may look like I'm getting on a bit, but I have quite good Twitch reflexes, right? So, quite a good Quake player in my own day. If anybody needs new talent, I'm just saying, I uh, could be available for the right price. Anyway, the nominees are Falcons Esports, Fate Esports, GK Esports, or GK Esports, NASA Esports, there's a lot of esports in the titles. Be more imaginative. Um, Team Rad, that's good, that's better. Twisted Minds, and those are the nominees. Uh, do people know, is there any esports fans in here? There's a few, okay, right, so you'll know whether this is right or wrong, I don't know. Um, I do like esports, but I, I don't necessarily know these teams yet to, be, to, be, uh, to learn. So the uh, honorable mentions go to GK Esports and NASA Esports, round of applause please. And uh, the winner, according to judges and according to the independent voting, is, is Team Falcons. Now, ironically, uh, the, team, the Falcons weren't able to fly today, so there you go. Um, probably didn't want to risk a finger with a handshake strain or something. Um, but we will get the award to them. Uh, Charlie, you can come up. Charlie is actually our resident esports fanatic, so he can accept a second award. We, we need a photo, Charlie. You have to send it to him. Come on. Come on. Faster than that. Show your, show your reflexes, Charlie. There you go. Charlie actually does love esports, so he's, he's the best person. Congratulations. Well, you've just got to pop over to Saudi now and deliver that one, I think. That's where it's going. Cool. Right. And we move right along. We are, we're whipping through this. It's great. Um, so next up is, a, a, next up is, a, is a, away from esports, but to another uh, a, a area that's very, very hot in the region. Um, uh, it's certainly had its, its uh, ups and downs, uh, but the Web3 space, or crypto, or blockchain, or NFT gaming, whatever you call it, uh, nevertheless, still... Uh, retains a lot of promise uh, for the future of the games industry and many other industries, and has definitely found a welcome home in this region, um, and, and I think for good reason. Um, and this award is, is kind of effectively sponsored by a website, blockchaingamer.biz. So if you're into Web3 gaming, we've got a, a daily website about that with uh, interviews and news from the, from, from the area, so do check that out. And if you're a Web3 company, talk to our guys and we'll cover you what you're doing. Uh, so let's have a look at the nominees for Best in Web3 Gaming. Is this a video? It is. Uh, Boomland. Everdome. Fakana Studio. Kiraverse from Param Labs. Nunu Spirits. Oneness Labs. Planet Quest from Galactic Entertainment. Sustana Gaming. Can't pronounce that. And the World of Nifty Craft. And we mix uh, from we made, okay. And yay, sorry, tell me why. Is there a Z? No, that's it. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so those are the nominees, uh, and as usual, there will be uh, a couple of uh, honourable mentions and a winner. That's how it works. So the honourable mentions uh, go to Oneness Labs and yay, yay! Congratulations to them. Um, good work. Keep it coming. We want to see a big year for Web three. Um, but the winner, and this is again voted for by the, uh, the judges, so you know where they are, um, is the winner is, it's We Mix by We Made. Now, these are very recent. They've actually set up an office. They've got an office in development in the, uh, in the DIFC. I don't know if we, they, they did register, but I haven't met them today, so I don't know if anybody's here. 
is there a Wii mixer? Is there a Wii Maiden in there? No. Who's going to come up? Oh, James is going to come up. You're, you are? You're working. Come on, just, what are you working with them? What are you doing? Come on. Sprint to the stage. Here we go. Would you like to say anything? Yeah, no, I, you know, obviously I've been up here before yesterday morning, but uh, yeah, WeMix is one of the projects that I'm working with. Uh, I do like how they do it, you know, taking the perspective of 20-year-old games company, adopting blockchain uh, for all the right reasons. And so thanks very much for this recognition. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. And they've got a fancy uh, office. It's being renovated in the DIFC now, so good work to DIFC with that. So uh, we move right along. We move right along. We are, we are getting, to, we're getting to the, uh, towards the nub of it all. And the next category uh, is, there we go, is investor of the year. Um, everyone needs money, right? So has, everyone, has anyone got too much money? You've all got too much money. My God, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, everyone needs money to get along, and games companies in particular can be a very cash-intensive business, especially at the, the start. Uh, so it takes many years of work required before a return can be made. Uh, and it means that investors are from seed to VC and, 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 and ultimately... Exits are an absolutely crucial part of our flourishing industry. So this award showcases these companies which are putting their money where their mouth is. Um, so the nominees for Investor of the Year are Finewill Capital, Gem Capital, Level Up from Neon, the National Development Fund, Savvy Games Group, Sharuk Partners, expecting a clap there. It's good, very good clapping from Sharuk always. Uh, Triple Dragon, and those them. Sorry, I keep waiting for an X or a Z at the end. There isn't one. Okay, all right. So uh, the honourable mentions who've done very well in, in this category were Level Up from Neom and Sharuk Partners. Very very well regarded, both of you. However, there really can only be one winner, really, in this region, uh, which dominated the voting, has dominated the investment landscape in the region and internationally recently, and really helped uh, make a mark uh, on the MENA industry, uh, make the MENA industry make a, a bigger mark on the map. And the winner is, it's the Savvy Games Group. I believe, here we go. We're honored, we're honored. We've got the, the, the top brass are coming here. I should, I'll be bearing here, this is good. Lovely to see you, thank you very much for coming. There we go. Let's, let's do a you got a few words, Brian? Thank you very much. Thank you for this recognition. This region is the most exciting region in our industry today by far, and we are so delighted and honored to be a part of it, supporting it, and shining a light on it worldwide, and hope to uh, support... Um, all of you in, in, uh, in the development of this region and its rapid growth. There are two groups of people who deserve thanks um, for, this sort of, um, for this sort of recognition. The first are the teams that we invest in, um, Scopely, ESL Face It, uh, many others, who like you, every day are creating amazing experiences for players and fans all around the world. And secondly, the people who support us, our board, the PIF working team and the people who uh, help make these uh, transactions, investments, and support of the region possible. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I've got two mics. I've somehow transitioned between the mics here. Okay, I'll stick with this one. Um, right. Okay. So we've had I've had what I'd consider that's very uh, investors very important group. Make sure you get all their cards on the way out if you're a developer. But now we are on to the. Uh, Onto the, the, the main acts. We're on the main acts. We're onto the game makers themselves. So we're starting off with Best Developer, uh, sponsored by ID at Xbox. And this is open to any MENA Games company that has released a game or successfully grown an existing game during the past year, uh, as well as expanded their business or made an impact in the industry through innovation, creativity, and other initiatives. Uh, and I'm going to roll the VT, and I'm going to invite some, if there is someone from ID at Xbox to come up and announce the winner. So here's the, here's the VT of the nominees. 2024 Studios. Aha Kyo Creations, that was difficult. Chick Mania. Everlight Studio. There we go, some love in the room, that's good. Game Cooks. 
Inspired Square. It's cool that game, isn't it? Jawaka. Mad Hook. Maisel Wards. Shanab Games. Spoils. There's more games than ones always. Table Night Games. Some love there. Tarbouche Games. UMX Studio. And Yala Play. That's a lot. Okay, right. Do we have someone from... We do have... Can we have... He's got a t-shirt. I should have known that. Please come to the stage. This is from... Uh, can we round of applause, please, for from our ID Xbox representative? What's your name, sir? Temi. Ah, oh, Temi. I don't need to be around. Hi. Um, do you want to say anything about... You know, well, I'll give you the winner to announce in a minute, but do you want to say anything about what you guys are doing? And yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. Um, I think I gave a talk earlier today about what we do, so I won't bore you all. But um, we're looking for developers from the Middle East working on cool games, encouraging them to come to the Xbox platform and supporting them in multiple ways to be successful when they ship. So um, we've been very pleased with everything we've seen over the last couple of days. Um, as Brian said, this region is possibly the most exciting region in our industry at the moment. So, yeah, really happy to be presenting cool. this award. Cool. So, first of all, I'm going to do the... No oh, I'm, let me move this way around. Give me that. I'm going to do the, uh, the, the honourable mentions first, and I'm going to hand this almost envelope, it's not quite an envelope, to you to uh, reveal the winner. So, the, the honourable mentions... That clicks. Oh, God. What a, what a, what a, what a time to... Uh, Joe Waka and UMX Studio. So, fantastic. <laughs> But you get to open up the piece of paper and you can announce who the winner is. Oh. And the winner is Mad Hook. Congratulations, guys. I do need to say, this category and the next one were so incredibly close. Could have been six or seven people could have won it, but you did, so congratulations. Would you like to say something? Thank you very much, good job. Would you like to say something? Uh, thank you, thank you everyone. Uh, thank you guys for this event, this amazing event. I'd like to thank also our team in, uh, in Mad Hook back in Jordan, um, and hopefully many years to come um, uh, for Mad Hook and for the gaming industry in the MENA region. Thank you. Cheers. Good speech, fantastic. Oh, do you want to get in as well? Oh, here we go. Uh, actually, I'm very happy and always glad to be part of uh, Pocket Gamer. Uh, I wasn't expecting to win. <laughs> we can have it back yeah. if you want. I mean, <laughs> So I'm um, very excited, I'm very happy, and thank you very much. Fantastic, thank you very much, Mad Hook. There we go. So, uh, where you find uh, great uh, game uh, developers, uh, fabulous publishers are usually not too far away either. So here we are moving on to best publisher. Um, uh, there's obviously a fine line these days between make makers and marketers, uh, and the, this award is for MENA companies that have assisted developers in releasing a game during the last year, whether through publishing support, marketing, co-development or investment, and are considered more publishy than developery, I guess. Again, it was incredibly tightly contested, but uh, here we go. We will start. Here are the nominees. <laughs> don't even have the nominees all in front of me now. The honorable mentions go to Babel Games and NBC Group, so thank you for them. Of those amazing publishers you saw, there can only be one, uh, one winner, and that winner, uh, decided by the voters, uh, by a narrow margin, was Tama Tem. There must be a Tama, here he is. It's Mr. Tama Tem himself, sorry. Clearly an opt 
optimal spot they have to get in here. Like, I can't just take pictures at the same time. It's like jostling at a wedding. Anyway, you've, you're all over the Middle East. Where are you, where are you based now? Um, we're based in Amman, Jordan, and in Abu Dhabi, and in Saudi. And in Saudi, not in Dubai. Hopefully in Dubai soon. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you, Pocket Gamer, for the amazing recognition. Uh, Tamatam has a journey of 10 years now uh, to try to tell people that the Middle East is the up and coming and uh, an amazing uh, landscape for game developers to come to and localize their games and focus on the, this amazing emerging market. Thank you so much for this great recognition. And uh, we look forward to work with all the game developers here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And uh, apologies again to other publishers. I am, I'll make sure you get lots of love in, in, the, in the media right up. Um, can't win them all, but there you go. Um, right, so we are in now to the last three awards. So we're nearly there. Well done for holding with us. So this next award, we've gone from Tamar. So this is the, the, the big tamale. Uh, this is the uh, MENA Game of the Year. Uh, uh, in association with uh, Exola Funding. Not Exola, Exola Funding, very important. Um, so it's a relatively self-explanatory title, uh, but this award recognizes the finest games experience released this year based on creativity, play mechanics, technological, artistic and oral achievements, innovation, ad audience engagement, and critical and commercial success. So to be eligible for this award, you must have given a release or done a significant update within the last year. Um, okay, and... The nominees are Avo Escape Space from Game Cooks, DC Heroes and Villains from Jam City Strike Sand Soft, Fake Emperors from Persia Land, Fatil from Evilite, Table Night Games. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Joelka Games and Friends. Sorry, I've been making an attempt. Uh, Come on up from Rimal, Merge Kingdoms from Yalla Game, Spades Master from Yalla Play. A lot of yallas. Uh, UHD, uh, Madhook, that's not an order. VIP Balut from Tamatem. West Hunt from New Gen Studio. There we go. So a lot of great games there. So can I have Exola representative? Oh, it's a friend coming up. That's good. You can come around. Come around this side because I get confused easily. Cool. So, so Michael, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm all right so far. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. It's been quite a stressful week, but you know, uh, I'm nice and dry, so that's good. So, no, um, yeah, so tell us a little bit about Exola Funding. So, Exola Funding is, uh, uh, is a department of Exola that makes uh, all the effort to get you guys your projects funded, right? So, if you're looking for funding, make sure to check out exola.com slash funding and uh, enroll onto our platform. We'll help you get the money you need to finish your project. Cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, as usual, I'm going to rev uh, reveal the uh, honorable mentions, and then we'll, I'll let you open this envelope. It's not an envelope, but it is. Uh, and, and you can tell us who the winner is. So the honorable mentions are Avo Escape Space from Game Kicks again. We love that game. And West Hunt from New Gen Studio. But honest, yeah, it's not, it's not really. The winner is gone. Yeah, yeah. And the winner is... Ha! Huh. DC Heroes and Villains by Jam City and Sandsoft. Congrats. Fantastic. Would you like to say something, David? Sure. First of all, thanks to everyone that trusted us to uh, support their games. Second, thanks a lot to our teams that make this game possible. And really a special thanks to the team at Jam City at Ludia that trusted, uh, trusted us to be their publisher. Thanks to everyone as well in the judging team. I appreciate your votes. And definitely congratulations to all, all of the winners here. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, it's a bit of hop here. Um, right, so we are now into two uh, sort of special uh, final awards, and then that's it. You can go and have lunch, um, or come and argue with me about the results, whatever. Um, this, the, uh, this, this special lifetime achievement award. Let me go over here. Is this some? That's the same. Yeah, okay. This special lifetime achievement award recognises uh, a person from 
the region who has not only achieved a considerable amount of success in their own career, but also ideally been a leader within the region and helping the industry. Um, it's selected directly by uh, the organization committee for the awards. So there's no nominations or voting process for this one. So instead, I'm going to go through a few words, explain why this person was chosen uh, and who they are. Uh, and it'll be revealed quite quickly who they are, but we go through this. Um, so our, our first MENA legend, this is our first ever MENA market legend, has been working in the mobile technology space for, for over 25 years, starting out as a business development manager with Infocel in 1999, then working for Yala, Golfco, and Swapcom in Cairo, Qatar, and France, not in the Middle East, uh, before founding his own game development studio, Maisel Ward, in Amman, Jordan, over 20 years ago. Um, the first mobile game development studio in the Middle East, he was a genuine pioneer for both gaming development, gaming technology in the region, as well as creating a whole load of casual card and board games for devices from back in Java devices we showed at the start and BlackBerry platforms before iOS and Android. In 2014, the company expanded its service to include publishing um, and, uh, and has gone on to be very successful uh, uh, with, uh, with big IP uh, for the likes of uh, Cut the Rope uh, and others. Um, Crucially, whilst he enjoys success with his own studio, Noor's impact uh, is much deeper than that, as, as he set out oh, not only to drive his own business, um, but to help propel the whole Jordan gaming scene, and indeed support MENA region as a whole. Uh, working with the King of Dollar Fund in Jordan, Noor oversaw the development of uh, the Jordan Gaming Lab, and initiatives, various initiatives on campus, the App Challenge, Code Buses, and various other initiatives that saw thousands of young people from across the region learn the skills uh, to engage in the gaming industry or related industries and to produce the game makers and entrepreneurs, some of whom have been honored tonight. Um, so, and also, he's, he's also done a lot of other things. This is some of the initiatives. This code bus is incredible. It's really, really, really great stuff. Um, he has been a, a, you've seen him around. He's been a, a speaker at many prestigious events. Uh, and he also set up uh, one of the most respected events early on in the region, which was the Ga Jordan Gaming Summit, which I had the honor of being invited to, um, which sought to celebrate the local gaming industry, as well as bring international speakers and companies to the region. Um, we were, we were, I said we were lucky enough to be involved early on. Uh, and then as part of that experience, uh, I also got a hand in how, I got an insight into how he, how he works things and how he, he brings other people into things when I found out I was then going to be running the Jordan Gaming uh, Summit for, for some years afterwards. That was an interesting meeting with the government and, uh, and the, the royal family that I, that I will never forget. But anyway, but we were very honored to, to do that. That was our first own event in the region with, uh, the, with uh, KFD and, and, and NOR and that team. Uh, suffice to say, we haven't kind of looked back. That, that event had over 1,000 delegates uh, last year. Uh, last time we ran it in the Dead Sea, we'll be back again in November. Um, and it, it started our journey uh, on towards uh, to, 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 to Riyadh and of course here for the Game Expo Summit last year and again this year and into the future. Um, Noor is a frequent traveler. You'll see him all over the world constantly uh, traveling around. Um, he is a famous for his glasses and his sartorial elegance as well, like a glassware of the year. Um, um, and, uh, but now he's also a, a uh, esports kind of a champion of, I know he's an esports champion, but he's a champion of esports. Just last week, he ran or was involved in running the most insane event series I've ever heard in my life, which took uh, it was day after day after day of esports events all across Jordan. Uh, absolute madness. Uh, so that was uh, well done for him for doing that. Um, but and crucially, his influence is not only in Jordan. He's already been working. Uh, in the region with Neom uh, on, on helping expand similar education programs there with the Dubai game creators here I think as a, as a challenge is going to be announced at the end and, and also to start an esports uh, academy um, so he's already scoped scooped the mobile gaming legend award before and now he's going to have to mind find some more space on his mantelpiece I do hope he's here he was on his way uh, if he is please welcome our first MENA market legend who is Noor Christ is Noor here he is here come on Noor Test box, don't do that. What's wrong? Come along, come along. We've. Uh, how are you? Okay, you're, getting, you're getting bored of this, aren't you? Now. Cool. Right. I've got oh, the award. I forgot the award. Wait a minute. There you go. There you go.
thank you. Uh, I, I will start by inviting you all. Today we have a fantastic group of young uh, uh, future developers who participated with the boot camp we started here in Dubai a few weeks ago. Uh, uh, please come and, and see them, interact with them. This is the future. We are building the future. And I was just saying yesterday the beauty of, of being doing this boot camp in Dubai is seeing, for me, seeing different people from different cultures just coming together and building a game together for the first time ever to meet through the boot camp. And this is basically what we are doing here in, in, in gaming. I'm delighted to be part of Pocket Gamer Award for the MENA. I was last year a legend in, in London. It's got a, glo a global legend now, so MENA legend. I, I, I think uh, what is good today what we can see today is the bridges that we are all building between Jordan, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and hopefully more to come with, with Europe and, and the rest of the world. Um, for all the developers, you know, as, as a self-funded operation for the past 22 years, uh, I, can, I can tell everyone, you can do it. And you can do it and, and always create great games from the MENA region. Thanks for... for Dubai for hosting us this year, for uh, trusting us to build a boot camp. And despite the rains and the challenges, we managed to get a few good uh, games to showcase today. Thank you, Chris. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Awesome. And uh, yeah, the, I think we're showing some of those boot camp games actually right at the end of the, the day after the, uh, the big indie pitch and the audience choice awards. So we are here on the final award for the day, uh, which is another slightly special one. It's, it's not something we've done before. And this is all about celebrating uh, uh, the best sort of local Dubai based uh, games businesses, uh, which I. Um, so, okay, here we are. And it's called the Dubai Games Star. Uh, and this special award recognizes uh, Dubai-based uh, games or game-related company who have demonstrated a considerable amount of success, influence, and impact. Um, and obviously, by its nature, it makes for a very, um, a very kind of uh, eclectic mix here. Um, so the, the nominees uh, are Boomland, DMC uh, C Gaming Center, Nifty Craft, this is the last chance to clap, so you might as well clap them as they come up. <laughs> but Wonders Labs, Pretty Pie, Sour Group, Yalla Group, and those are the nominees. Uh, and as I say, this has been voted for by people in the region, so I will do the usual thing. Um, I, to, to present the final uh, awards, I have the pleasure of welcoming to the stage Ahmed uh, Alkaja, I believe his, his, he's there. Sorry, right in front of me. You can look at me all the time. Please, please give the, him a, a big round of applause. <laughs> Fantastic. He has, uh, he has eschewed the, 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 the gentle walk up and gone straight for the cheeky stairs. Um, cool. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much for your, all your support. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just announce who the, the, the two sort of uh, nominees are, the two so honourable mentions, and then I'll let you uh, talk about what, you know, what you'd like to say, and then we'll, we'll reveal the winner. So, so the honourable mentions um, are the DMCC Gaming Centre and Sour Group. So before we announce the winner, would you like to say anything? Would you like to say a few words? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, great to see all of you over here uh, uh, today. And uh, uh, it's been an amazing journey over the past two days. Uh, apart from the weather challenge, uh, cha uh, challenges uh, today, I'm glad that you have all uh, made it. Uh, I would like to thank everybody uh, who helped to put this event together. It's uh, 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 such an amazing uh, gathering that shows the future of this industry. How is it forming? How is it shaping? All the support from uh, uh, the sponsors, to the organizers, to the participants, all the way to the uh, speakers uh, uh, through all our panels. Thank you so much, and uh, uh, thank you for the amazing job that keeping everybody entertained over the past two days. Thank you so much. Cool. So, if you could open the, the, the it's a sort of an envelope, so the, the winner is, Dubai Games Stars winner is Yalla Group.
Hi, everyone, and thanks for this amazing event. Uh, I just want to highlight that we are not only the Dubai game stars. We are the first uh, unicorn based from Dubai listed on NYSE. And <laughs> this has happened because of the support we have gained from the government of UAE and especially Dubai. All the efforts that's been made during the past four years since we've been listed. And we have shown, alhamdulillah, a great performance year over year. And we have seen lots of collaboration with the gaming entities in the region. And right now, as we speak, we are collaborating with Dubai Tourism. And we are creating activities that is related to Dubai. Thanks for this event. And thank you, everyone. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for your support. I, mean, I really appreciate it. A big, huge shout out to everybody who's made this possible. And, and to everyone at the DET. They've been incredible, all the government partners and supporters. Um, that's, I think, is there anything else? I don't think there's any massive surprises, though. No, that's it. Um, so I, was, I keep waiting for my unreal award. Every time I'm here waiting, but it never comes. Um, so thank you all for, for joining us this afternoon. Um, uh, thank you on behalf of our wonderful category sponsors, I do Xbox, Exala Funding, on behalf of everybody at uh, the DET and related uh, so sponsors of this event. Um, and also our media websites, pocketgamer.biz and blockchaingamer.biz, who will be covering as much as they can about what's going on in this region. Uh, I'm going to take a break now and grab some lunch, and we all can, uh, and then listen to your inevitable arguments about what, who should have won. Uh, but then we'll be back for the final quarter of the day. So let's finish strong. I know I'm really, I'm really grateful for everybody kind of coming out. I know that we, we were, it was a bit uncertain about the rain, but it seems to be okay. So thanks for coming out and supporting us. Let's make the most of it. Let's finish strong. Um, and take care and see you soon. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>